Hi, this is Dave with CamRanger. In the last two videos, we showed you how to set up the CamRanger 2 with a Canon or Nikon camera for fast wireless tethering. In this video, we're using a Fuji, specifically the Fuji X-Pro2. You can see how fast the images appear. Now, Fuji is a little bit different in that we can't actually access the camera's SD card to get the images. That's why we have to use the CamRanger's SD card to save images as well. As far as specs on the SD card, really anything 50 megabytes or above is fast enough. Now, we also want to use the CamRanger's 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. The 5 gigahertz network is faster and has less interference. Pretty much the only reason you'd use the 2.4 is if you want to maximize distance or the device you're using doesn't support the 5 gigahertz band. Fuji also has a few settings in the camera we need to configure. So let's do that now. Here we are in the Fuji camera's menu settings. So we want to scroll down to the wrench. Then within power management, auto power off, we want to make sure that is set to off. Next, within the connection setting, make sure network setting and PC auto save are both turned off like they are now. Lastly, the PC connection mode we want set to USB tether shooting auto. When it's set to that, images will also be saved to the camera's SD card. Here we are in the CamRanger app in an iPad, though we could be using an Android or Mac or Windows computer. First thing you'll note, we're shooting RAW plus small JPEG. That's what we want to do for the fastest possible image previews. Next, within the CamRanger settings, go to Controls and Workflows, and down at the bottom, you'll note that Save Fuji RAWs is turned off. What that means is that the RAW images will be saved only to the camera's memory card and not to the CamRanger's SD card. Lastly, Auto View Images is turned on, so that every time we take an image, it'll automatically display. Let's see how that works. So it's under three seconds. Let's try again. So you can see how fast that is. Thanks for watching the video. Stay tuned for more videos. And as always, if you have any questions, send us an email.